they are intimidated by your confidence. If you know that your wicked enemies are intimidated by your confidence, hit that like button right now, chosen family. I'm going in. I'm going to expose these wicked enemies out here. Oh my God, this video is going to be powerful. Oh my goodness gracious, this video is going to be powerful. Today, we're going to talk about confidence. Yes, confidence. And I want you to understand something. You make these enemies feel insecure. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's powerful. Yes, if you know that you make these wicked devils feel insecure, I need you to hit that like button right now. Listen, I'm going to explain something to you. They are in fear of your confidence and just how powerful your mind is. I'm going to expose the devil. Let me know who's in this chat, y'all. I'm going in. I'm going in. As you come in here, put down, I steal the show. If you steal the show, hit that like button right now, chosen family. That's what they're afraid of. That's what they're mad about. You steal the show without even trying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God is good. God is good. What's up? A billion, a billion dreams TV. Listen, you steal the show. Oh my goodness gracious. Glory to the most high for exposing this to me. You steal the show. That's what they're really mad about. Hmm. See, I done my research on these enemies. I got all the receipts on them. And I know for a fact that they're so insecure. Oh yeah, put that put that down there right now, chosen family. Put down my enemies are insecure. <laughs> Siobhan, that's what I'm talking about. Come on now. Hey, listen, listen, li I got, listen. I got the receipts on your enemies. What's up? What's up, Joe? Oh my God, this is going to be powerful. I got the receipts on them. I know their behavior. I know exactly how they think. See, they want to make it seem like it's everything else. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Listen, your enemies want to make it seem like it's everything else besides what's really the problem. The problem is you're confident. The problem is you're gifted and you're talented. That's the problem. And I want you to understand tonight, I'm going to expose to you some different things that I want you to take heed of as you're walking on your journey. This is gonna be helpful. Let me get an amen, y'all. So tonight, what we're gonna talk about is confidence, arrogance, control, manipulation, sabotage, and insecurities. That's what we're gonna talk about. Can I get an amen for that? I'm gonna break this enemy down and we're gonna expose them. Now, as I get started, I want you to understand something. That Christ was confident. Can I get an amen? If you know Christ was confident, let me, l listen, listen. Hit that like button right now because there's a reason why you walk around the way you do. See, your Savior... The Most High has given you confidence in your abilities, in your skills, and in your gifts to know how to deliver what God put in you. Oh my goodness gracious, can I get an amen? So what's going to happen is people who is who listen, these people who I'm talking about, they're insecure. They don't have a gift or a talent. What's going to happen is they're going to be standing at the door of opportunity. Oh, that's powerful. And what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to try to sabotage you because they don't have the gift and talent on what God has gave you. If you face sabotage, hit that like button right now, chosen family. I'm going in. I'm going in. 
if you ever been sabotaged by this enemy black bald listen to me right now y'all this gonna be powerful come on now listen i'm telling you i know what i'm talking about they all teamed up against you because they didn't have what you had inside of you which was the confidence and confidence in the skills and gifts let me tell you what they were wondering this is what they were wondering how is this person so sure of their gifts and talent they want to know that they want to know how are you so sure of the gifts and talent that God put in you a lot of people want to take away your confidence so they can control and manipulate you if you know that that's true let me get an amen let me get an amen y'all I'm telling you the truth see when you look at life and you look at people when you walk up to a door of opportunity they will slam the door in your face but somebody who they can control or manipulate they'll let them in the door can i get an amen come on y'all can i get an amen can i get an amen listen you got more you, listen you got more talent than this person your gifts is greater than this person but because this specific person they can control and manipulate they'll open up the door the problem with society is we have a lot of people that's appointed in positions and they're not supposed to be there can i get an amen for that <laughs> can i get an amen for that listen they don't even have the gift like you or talent like you but they're gatekeepers at the door of opportunity so they're calling the shots on who's gonna make it in the door so when you walk up there sure of yourself they don't like that so we're gonna talk about it all we're gonna talk about confidence arrogance control manipulation sabotage and insecurities that's what we're gonna talk about now before I get started um, I want I want you to know this don't let this enemy trick you out here you steal the show and everything that you do I want to make this clear don't let these enemies fool you out here it's all about attention and here's the truth and I want you to really take this in the truth is they did everything to doctor themselves up oh my goodness gracious this is powerful watch how powerful this is listen they spent thousands of dollars to look good oh my god watch this y'all listen David listen 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 watch how powerful this is they spent all of this money to get the attention from the people of the show but you stepped up in the show just as yourself as your natural self and you got more attention than this enemy that's what they hate about you put down in the comment section below before we go any further I steal the show put that down there put that down there y'all that's what it's all about did Jesus Christ steal the show somebody let me know somebody let me know right now did Jesus Christ steal the show somebody let me know did he steal the show from the Pharisees I'm getting yeses in the chat that's what I'm talking about see that's the truth that's the truth so as Jesus walked up on the earth, he ran into a problem with the Pharisees because Jesus stole the show everywhere he went and he wasn't even trying. Just like you, you steal the show without even trying. See, it's the Christ in you, it's the God in you that puts the attention on you. It's the anointing that's inside of you. So understand as Christ was walking the earth, the Pharisees were jealous. <laughs> they were jealous of Jesus' gifts. And one thing that they tried to do is sabotage Jesus Christ. Let me get an amen, y'all. See, 
Yes, you said yes, Coach. This is a word for me today. Oh, yes, I'm going to help you out. On my journey, on my way up of not only chasing my music dream or acting dream, on my journey of my ministry, I begin to see that people who's insecure will try to cause conflict with you because they're not secure in their position. <laughs> Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen, y'all. Let me listen, 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 listen. This is going to give you insight on what's going on in the mind of your enemies because you got to walk as well. So I'm here to help you. I want you to understand that Jesus was sabotaged and falsely accused because he was confident. Was Jesus confident in himself? Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. See, I compare our walk to Jesus' walk because you got to get an understanding. They were competing for no reason. There you go. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. Yes, they were. How many people compete with you for no reason? Come on, y'all. How many of them is in secret competition with you? Somebody let me know. <laughs> oh, this is powerful. Yes. Yes. Listen, your anointing is so powerful, y'all. And it's so amazing to where people who's not even in the same field as you begin to find themselves in secret competition with you. Yeah. Yeah. So. I want you to understand that because of their arrogance, they will be your footstool. Put down my enemies or my footstool. Put that down there, y'all. Put that down there right now. Yes. Yes. Their arrogance will make them your footstool. Because the most high don't like the proud and arrogant. And I'm gonna prove that by scripture. Everything that I'm saying, I'm approved by scripture. But I just got to break it down so you can see what's going on in your life before I go into scripture. You said throwing shade, only making the light brighter. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, I want you to understand that it's all about control and manipulation think about this there's people that want to control how gifted you are and they want to control your story and control the narrative of your story has anybody ever tried to control your talent somebody let me know and what I mean by that is did they ever try to put a restriction on how talented you are to the point of where they accepted you at a certain level when you were down here? <laughs> Ryan said they try it on a daily basis. Listen, this is a this is gonna be a huge breakthrough. I'm helping somebody out. I'm showing you who they are. I'm sure listen, I've been through this, y'all. I've seen these people. I know them by their fruits. As long. What's up, A Star? God bless you. Listen, y'all. As long as you stay down here, everybody is okay with you. <laughs> but the second and moment that God begins to increase you, how many people? took conflict with you. Let me get an amen if they took conflict. Let me get an amen if you all of a sudden became the problem. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Listen, it's the increase. Put down in the comment section below, devil, you can't control me. Put that down there right now. I'm going in on this enemy. I'm going to let you know straight. I'm not going to be nice to you devils. Devil, you can't control the anointing that God has put inside of his children.
That's the truth. I'm here not to reason with the devil. I'm here to show you the spirit of the devil. As long as they can control you, everybody is okay with you. As long as they can control your anointing. They were your friends and family. Everybody accepted you. But the moment, the second, that God made it evident that you were more anointing than them, that's when they showed you their true colors. <laughs> Let me get an amen, y'all. Let me get an amen if they showed their true colors. The moment that God started raising you up, that's when the betrayal happened. That's when the sabotage happened. Understand, it's after the increase is when they showed you who they were. See, <laughs> listen, listen. Let me let me make this clear. People see who you are. Put down in the comment section below, they know who I am. Put that down there, y'all. Put that down there. <laughs> Come on. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, they know who you are. Put that down. Put down, they know who I am. Put that down there. But the truth is, they'll try everything to hide who you are. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, my God. Put down in the comment section below, devil can't hide me anymore. Come on, y'all. Come on, now. This is big. This is powerful, man. This is real. Oh, that's powerful. They'll spend thousands and millions of dollars to keep you hidden in the background. Come on, y'all. Y'all know that that's the truth. Hmm. Some people have spent hours and days and years trying to keep you hidden. And what happens is they'll study you and watch you in the dark, trying to find different ways to sabotage you and keep you hidden. You want to know why? The reason why is they don't want it to be you. Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah, there you go. Come on, y'all. Yeah, come on, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. They don't want it to be you. They don't want it to be you. They don't want it to be you. No, no, no. They want it to be their little cousin, Ray Ray. Come on, y'all. Let me get an amen. Come on now. Oh! That's who they want it to be. Come on. Can I get a witness? How many of them wanted to be their family member to be the one? How many of them wanted to be the person who they thought in their mind? See, they planted a lot of people in positions. And here you come, anointed by God and appointed by God, and you stole the show without even trying. That put fear in them. So now they have to find different ways to destroy you. So I'm going to expose this to you in this video so you can understand and know that they never wanted it to be you. Fake friends and fake family members never wanted it to be you. But it doesn't matter what they want. <laughs> you said LOL, but God said no. A change the rules. That's what I'm talking about, Shavar. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, it's going to be powerful, y'all. No matter what they want. You said expose them. I'm going there. I'm going to expose the arrogant. Let's go. Before I go, I want y'all to know that you are too real for these devils. Put that down there right now. Put down, I'm too real for these devils. Put that down there right now. See, being real will get you sabotage. Being real will make these enemies turn against you. Fake. Listen, listen. Oh, my God. This is powerful. Thank you, Most High, for this word. They want you to be fake. Oh, my God. <laughs> listen, y'all. If you be fake, 
just like them, which you can't because it's not in your blood, it's not in your DNA. If you be fake and take a back seat and lower your confidence and your anointing, they'll accept you. But I'm gonna tell you fake devil something right now. We are not like you. We are too real and we are confident and we're going to walk bold in our confidence. And we will never take a back seat to let you devils breathe. Come on now. Come on now. Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. Let me get. I will never take a back seat to let you wicked devils breathe. You are going to be pulled out of position. Because the fake will always be exposed. And the real will be exalted. Stay real, chosen family. Stay real. All right? Don't take a back seat for these fakes. Always expose your gifts and talent. Don't take a back seat for a fake devil just so they can breathe. Don't do that. I want you to keep pushing harder. I want you to keep shining brighter, y'all. Oh, my God, this is powerful. See, that's the problem. There's a lot of people that want you to dim your light. Don't dim your light. Don't dim what God put inside of you. Keep shining brighter. And God going to keep exalting you and taking you higher. Let me get down to business here. So, understand that, and this is a question. Did Jesus take a back seat for the Pharisees? Somebody let me know. Somebody, I, I'm giving you proof right here. <laughs> I'm giving you proof. I'm giving you proof. <laughs> Brian said no. Okay, come on now. Oh, that's powerful. Watch this. Watch this. Listen, you said did not. Come on. Listen, we're going straight to the Bible now. We're going straight to the scriptures. Jesus never took a back seat for the Pharisees with their jealous self. Listen, y'all. Jesus, did he go harder? Somebody let me know. <laughs> Somebody let me know. Did Jesus go harder? Oh, yeah. A star said, oh, yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on now. That's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to do. I want you to hit the gas on these enemies. That's what I want you to do. Listen, when they oppress you and bring jealousy towards your way, I want you to go harder, baby. Go hard for Jesus, baby. Oh, that's powerful. Go harder, y'all. Go harder. Listen. Question. Was the Pharisees arrogant? Somebody let me know. Was the Pharisees arrogant? Somebody let me know. Yep, you said yes. Good, 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 good. All right, good, 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 good. Did they try to control or manipulate Jesus Christ's message? Somebody let me know. Did they try to control or manipulate Jesus Christ message. I'm getting yes. It's coming down in the chat. All right. Good. 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 Okay. Did they try to sabotage Jesus Christ? Somebody let me know. I'm getting yes. It's flowing down the chat. Good. Good. Did Jesus Christ. Here's the big one, y'all. Here's the big one. And this is for you. Did Jesus Christ make the Pharisees feel insecure? Somebody let me know. <laughs> Somebody let me know. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Yes. Oh, there you go. Those are the people who you're dealing with. You're confident and they're insecure. Jesus was confident and the Pharisees were insecure. Understand the reason I brought up Jesus is because I want you to know this. That Jesus didn't stop walking. And change how he was doing things to make these enemies feel comfortable. Put down, I won't make these devils feel comfortable. Put that down there right now. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all.
Yeah. Don't make them feel comfortable. Jesus didn't do that. All right. Now we're going to go to scripture. I'm going to show you how you should walk. Okay. I'm going to show you what the most high wants you to do. All right. I'm going to show you. And we're going to break down whether the most high wants you to be how these devils want you to be low self-esteem walk with your head down not be confident we're going to see if that's what the most high wants you to do or we're going to see if the most high wants you to be confident so i'm going straight to scripture on this enemy right now yeah yeah that's what we're going to do so we can go we're going to go straight to the guy effects on this enemy because there's a lot of people that wants to play around with the most high god's name and um i'm not going to let this enemy get away with what they've been doing um and we're going to continue to um stay on god's word all right so the uh, first scripture that we're going to go to um tonight just to see <clears throat> how the most high god wants us to walk uh let's go to hebrews 4 16 yeah let's go there yeah yeah let's go there So this is how the Most High wants you to walk. This is going to help save your life. This is going to put you in position. This is going to put you in purpose, okay? Please take heed to what the Most High wants you to do. Not what man wants you to do. I want you to walk how God wants you to walk, okay? So let's go to um, Hebrews 4, 16. And it says this. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So I'm gonna stop right there. When the Most High says come boldly, you come with confidence, okay? Understand that everything you must do must be with confidence, all right? The Most High gave us a spirit to be confident and be bold. Can I get an amen, y'all? See, that's why when people try to lower your confidence and try to take that out of you, you can't be how they want you to be. You'll become frustrated and upset but how they want you to act because that's not in you put down in the comment section below that's not in me that's not how god made you god made you to be bold all right understand that the next scripture we're going to go to is hebrews uh 13 6. all right it says this Let's go to Hebrews 13, 6. It says this. It says, So that me, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. I'm gonna stop right there. Once again, boldly means you're confident in what you say okay boldly means you have to be bold on what you do all right so it says this so that we may confidently say the lord is my helper and i will not fear what man shall do unto me you got to be confident y'all okay do not let this enemy tri trick you out here into lowering your confidence all right let me keep going let's go to philippians 1 6 Yeah, let's go there. And this is what I want you to know. Let's go there right now. Yeah. And don't worry. I need you to stay in this video because I'm going to show you the punishment of your enemies for being arrogant and prideful. We're going to do that. But right now what I'm doing, I'm showing you how God wants you to walk. Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. I got you. So we're going to go to Philippians 1, 6. <clears throat> and it says this.
being confident of this very thing that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. Listen to that again, y'all. Listen to that again. It says this. Being confident of this very thing that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. You have to be confident. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen, y'all? If y'all know now that you got to be confident, y'all. Always stay confident, y'all. This is how God want you to be, okay? You got to stay confident and firm in your abilities, all right? Let me keep going. Let's go to 2 Timothy 1 7. This is a big one. This is a big one right here. Now, listen to me right now, y'all. If y'all are walking bold in your confidence right now, I want to say congratulations. You are doing a good thing. All right. Continue to walk that way. Don't let nobody put fear in you. Okay. That's what the devil want to do. The devil wants you to be fearful of chasing your dreams. That way you can fail. Okay. So stay confident. Remain bold. I'm proud of you. Continue to walk that way. You're doing an amazing job, all right? So so listen to this. Speaking of fear, listen to this. Listen closely. He says this. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's a breakthrough. Let me get an amen for the most high. Let me get an amen for the most high. See, what the devil's trying to do to you when they tell you don't be confident in your abilities the devil's really trying to put fear in you. Can I get an amen? Come on, y'all. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, my goodness gracious. See, instead of you walking around with courage and being courageous, they want you to be insecure and have fear. Why? Because if you're in fear, they can control your narrative. Oh, that's powerful. <laughs> See, the devil think he's slick. But I know exactly what the enemy's doing. They want to control you. They want you in fear for a reason. Let's keep going. So always remember that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? Let's keep going. <clears throat> Let's go to Proverbs 8.13. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Proverbs 8.13. Watch this, y'all. We're going to go here. Now, it's time to expose the most high um, thoughts and mind process on how he feels about your enemies. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen, y'all? It's time to expose and show you how the most high feels about these arrogant enemies. Yes, yes, yes. L listen, listen. All you arrogant devils. That stood at the door to knock down God's children. I'm going to show you the wrath of God on what's coming to you. See, because you want to play God and you want to act like you're better than us by trying to gaslight us and trying to act like a gatekeeper. I'm here to tell you right now, the most high got something for you. 
and he already doing it right now let me show him by scripture it says this this is proverbs 8 13 it says this the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the frown mouth do i hate let me get an amen see the most high hates that arrogant talk that you speak man let me tell you devil something right now the most high hate that arrogant talk that you speak man the way you're so sure of us and how you wrote us off and counted us out the most high told you that he gonna shut you up and he gonna deal with you because he can't stand the arrogant and prideful let me keep going let's go to proverbs 11 2. watch this it says this when pride cometh then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom so pride will bring shame humbleness is wisdom put down on wise put that down there right now y'all if you're humble you are wise y'all let me get an amen come on man this is for the humble and meek because the meek <coughs> shall inherit the earth see you're wise at the way that you walk you're wise at the way that you carry yourself you are a humble servant under the most high the arrogant they're gonna fall all right it says this when pride cometh then comes shame and let me make this clear has the most high put your enemies to shame Somebody let me know. <laughs> this is powerful. This is powerful right now. Has the most high put your enemies to shame? Come on now. Are they running and hiding right now? Have they ghosted you? Oh my God, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. If they ghosted you, the reason they're hiding is because they're in shame. Why? Because they were wrong about you. Oh my God, that's powerful. That's powerful. They were wrong about you. They were wrong about you. That's why. They want to be right so bad, y'all, to where the most high put them to shame. So now they're hiding in their dark holes. Okay? They crawl back in the cracks to find different ways to be right about you. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Let me keep going. Let's go to Proverbs 6, 16, uh, 5. It says this. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join hand, he shall not be unpunished. I'm going to stop right there. You are an abomination to the most high. Let me get an amen. Here. Let me get an amen. <laughs> That's powerful. That's powerful. Yes. Yes. See, your proud in heart has made you an abomination to the most high. This is what happens with a lot of your enemies. They think in their minds that they can walk around and do what they want, say what they want, and treat you how they want. And understand, when you're proud and got pride, you're not falling humble under the Most High. Was Pharaoh proud? Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. Was Pharaoh full of pride and arrogance? Somebody let me know. Come on now. You said yes. You said yes. All right. This is a question. Did the Most High destroy Pharaoh? Somebody let me know. 
I'm getting yeses coming down the chat. Did the most high destroy Pharaoh? I'm getting yeses. Yeah. That's what's going to happen to your enemies. See, the most high sent Moses multiple times, just like he sent me, to warn you enemies. But you're so full of pride to where it clouds your judgment. And you got to understand this, that pride comes before the fall. Let me get amen. Let me get amen. Pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before the fall. Yes. And I want you to know this. When you enemies fall down, you will be my chosen vessel's footstool. I want you to absolutely get used to that position because you're going to be down there on the ground and we will walk across you. Let me keep going. Let's go to Proverbs 21, 24. It says this. Proud and haughty scorner is in his name who deal with the who deal in proud wrath. So I'ma stop right there. Listen, there's a lot of people who got so much pride and all of those things in their heart. And that's what they put out in this earth. That's what they put out in this world. That's what they gave you. And I want you to understand that they will be punished by the most high. Now, it's time to speak about the jealousy on what's inside of your enemy's hearts. Okay? I got to talk about this. They were jealous of you from the very beginning. I want you to understand this. Don't let them prick you or gaslight you. They were always jealous of you. And they will always be jealous of you. The enemy is doing everything that they can to make it seem like it's something else. Oh, my goodness gracious. If they try to make it seem like it's something else, hit that like button right now, y'all. Come on. I'm about to go in on this enemy. I'm about to go in on you fakes, you snakes out there that try to make it seem like it's something else. No, you're jealous. Jealous. That's what it is. <clears throat> you try to make it seem like it's everything else. Than what it really is. You are jealous. You're full of jealousy and hate. You're jealous. I want to tell you something. You jealous devils. You easy buckets. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going in on them. I'm going in on them. Your spirit is off. You're jealous of all my chosen vessels. You want to be us so bad. It hurts your heart to see us win. Oh my God, hit that like button right now. Hit that like button right now. I'm telling them straight. It hurts you to see us walk in our confidence and be our natural self from the most high and see us elevate and prosper. You devils ought to be ashamed of yourself. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I know you. Put that down there right now. Tell the devil I know you. Come on, y'all. Let's go. I'm going in on him. Choose life, I'm going in on them. I'm sick of these enemies out here. I know you. I know you. I know you. I could smell you from a mile away. The only thing I got to do is look for jealousy because it's in your heart. You've been jealous. I know you. You can't trick me. You can't fool me. You try to make it seem like it's everything else. No, you're jealous. So let me tell you something right now. Get away from my chosen family i'm gonna make this clear if you got a jealous heart and a jealous spirit you will be destroyed you will be our footstool that's proof listen listen that's a fact that's a fact i don't care how mad you are how angry you are you need to clean your heart you claim that you're of the most high but you got a spirit of the devil I know you. 
Oh, I'm going in on them, y'all. I'm going in on them. 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 You claim you're of God. But this whole time, you got jealousy. Clouding your mind and surrounding your heart. But you're of God, right? You ain't nothing but a hypocrite. A wicked hypocrite. That want to keep your feet on my chosen vessel's shoulders. You ain't nothing but a jealous demon that wake up in the morning thinking of how you can stop somebody else's opportunity. You ain't nothing but a jealous enemy, a crab in a barrel. Put the crab emojis down there. I'm going in. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all gonna remember this day. Y'all gonna remember this. You secret competition devils. You secret competition devils. You took on the spirit of the enemy. You're a crab in a barrel. That's all you are. Crabby patties. Come on, y'all. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, oh, let's get this enemy. I know you. That's the reason why we don't resonate. Because you're a hater. Put down hater, y'all. Put down hater. Put down they are haters. Put that down there. I know. Oh, we're not haters. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Everybody in your household is haters. Yeah, everybody. It started from the very beginning. Grandma was a hater. Grandpa was a hater. It carried down. Your mama was a hater and you're a hater. You're haters. <laughs> That's all you are. Jealous, low vibrational haters. Want to be us. You can't be me. You're a hater. You never lift no one up. You don't support nobody. You're just a jealous hater. That's all you are. You're just like the Pharisees. Haters. That's it. You're everywhere. One thing I can't stand about you, you enemies, is you make excuses. Come on, y'all. Let's tell this devil. Let's tell this devil this. This is real. Don't they make excuses, y'all? Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> This is powerful. Instead of them working hard, just like you, they make excuses on why they're not successful. Oh my God, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Come on, y'all. <laughs> Play the victim card. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, y'all know I'm gonna tell this devil just how it is. You make excuses. We got the same 24 hours in a day. The problem is you choose to use your 24 hours the wrong way and we use it the right way. Don't be mad and jealous at my chosen vessels. <laughs> Come on, let me get an amen. <laughs> let me get an amen. Come on, y'all. <laughs> See, let me tell you something about the main source. The reason you're really mad is because we use the right source, which is the most high, and you use the devil. You got a temporary blessing, and now you you ran <coughs> you ran out. And because you ran out of blessings, you're looking at us. We got unlimited blessings. And you're mad. You're mad. See, this is why when I look at these miserable people. I laugh because there's the most high has given us multi talents. If you're multi talented, hit that like button right now. If you're multi talented, hit that like button right now. I'm about to show you how different you are than these haters, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. See? Let me explain this to you. God has made us multi-talented with a lot of different gifts. So it doesn't matter if you sabotage us at the door. When we go to a different door, we're going to elevate. Oh my God, let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. It doesn't matter where we walk or where we go. 
We're just like Joseph, baby. Our light is gonna shine. We're gonna elevate. It don't matter what you do. This is confirmation, my chosen family. This is confirmation for you. It doesn't matter if they try to assassinate your character, destroy you, and close the door. According to the Bible, God will open up a bigger door. When man closes the door, God will open up a door that no man can close. So go ahead, close all the doors, sabotage us because y'all don't have talent and you're intimidated and you're insecure. Do it. It doesn't matter what you do or what you say because we will always have doors open up for us. That's why we win, y'all. Put down, I'm a winner. Put that down there right now. Put that down there right now. It don't matter. We got the main source. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Let me tell you, devil, something. I was elevating outside of this ministry, and I'm elevating in this ministry. My chosen family, before you persecuted them, they was elevating, and they're elevating now. Because winners are winners, and losers are losers. I know it's hard for you to accept that. But understand that the accomplishments in this world don't make us winners. What make us winners is we made the right decision and we chose the most high, baby. Oh my God, that's powerful. Oh my God, that's powerful. See, we're on the winning team. We're on the most high God's team. That's why we're winners. It's nothing to do with this world. Oh my God, y'all gotta hear me right now. Oh my goodness gracious, that's powerful. Wow! We are winners because Christ already won the battle. The most high already won the battle. That's powerful. That's powerful. <laughs> Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. That's why. See, we can do all things in Christ, which strengthens us. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you, you fake enemies out there, that you are our footstool. I'm going to show you that. Somebody put down in the comment section below. Show me the God facts. Listen, the enemy don't like this. The enemy don't like me telling y'all that y'all are winners. But I'm here to tell you right now, you are. Come on, y'all. Claim this over your life. Claim that you're a winner, y'all. Claim it right now. Claim it right now. Don't let the devil shame you and make you feel bad. No, 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 no. No. You're a winner. You're on the most high God's team. And the most high already won the battle. Don't listen to these devils out here. See, they want to destroy your spirit. That's what it is. They want to destroy you. All right? That's what it is. Let's go to scripture. I'm going to show you. This is all you got to do. As you're winning your race. This is all you got to do. Let's go to Psalms 110.1. Yeah. Let's go there. It says this. The Lord said unto me, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. I'm going to stop right there. There's instructions. There's instructions right there. The most high is going to make them your footstool. Let me get an amen, y'all. <clears throat> Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. <clears throat> There's instructions. The only thing you got to do is wait on God. Wait on God, y'all. Wait on the Most High. Come on now. Come on, y'all. I'm going to read it again. <clears throat> it says this. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. The only thing we got to do is wait on the Most High. They're going to be your footstool. All right? Now, I want to expose this to you. Let's go to Psalms 23, 5. 
because once that footstool happened there's something that's going to happen that's going to be so amazing that you're going to see let's go to let's go to psalms 23 5 <clears throat> it says this thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever that's a breakthrough that's a breakthrough listen to me right now y'all I'm going to break this down real quick. It says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I want you to understand something. Presence, mist, means that they're going to be watching you when they're going to watch you eat the blessings and win and prosper. Can I get an amen, y'all? Can I get an amen? Some of you will say, well, why did the Most High put that part in there? I'm going to tell you why. The reason why. How many people, how many enemies lined up to see you lose? I'll wait. I'll wait. How many of them lined up to see you lose? Somebody let me know. Come on now. Yeah. All. All starts at all. There you go. That's the breakthrough. Come on, y'all. <clears throat> Come on. There you go. You said all because they have no compassion. There you go. Hundreds. Amen. So, God is a just God. You said so many. There you go. God is a just God. By the thousands. There you go. Wow, that's powerful. That's powerful. God is a just God. So God said, y'all wanted a show. You wanted to see them lose and be poor with no money. So it's only right that I prepare a table so you can see them win. Let me get an amen. <laughs> Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. Say thank you most high for the table. Oh, that's powerful. Yes, 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 yes. That's powerful. Listen. Put down, return to the sender. Put that down there right now. Yeah. Put that down there right now. Return to the sender. Wow. What's the return? The return is, you're not going to be able to take your eyes off of us. You wanted to see us lose. Now the Most High returned it, sent it back to you. Now you're poor and we're blessed. Thank you, Most High. <laughs> yes, God is good. God is good. Wow, God is good. <clears throat> the Most High is amazing. And I'm going to make this absolutely clear when I break this down, too. See, when the Most High said, Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. The most high. I didn't see where he was specific at the position on where your enemies are going to be at while you're at this table. Oh, I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. As I read this, this is powerful. This is a huge breakthrough, y'all. As I read this, I don't see where the most high is telling you where the person is going to be at while you're at this table. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? <laughs> Come on. This is powerful. You'll say, Chris, life coach, what do you mean? Break it down. I'm going to break it down. This is what I mean. He said, thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Did the most high say that the enemy will be standing up? Somebody let me know. Somebody, somebody let me know. Did he say right here 
that they're going to be standing up. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge. You said no. That's a breakthrough. Oh, my God. That's powerful. So are you telling me, listen, <laughs> heavenly chosen family, are you telling me that just them being present mean that they can be on the floor as our foot? Oh, she got it. Oh, she said footstool. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. God is good. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Let's get an amen. 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 Come on, y'all. Give an amen to heavenly chosen family. Give an amen. Come on. And to A-star. Give an amen. Come on, y'all. Oh, my God. God's good. Wow. Oh, my God. The, the most high is amazing. <laughs> hey, uh, Jen Fisher said, enjoy the view and the show. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow see see you enemies you're gonna be there but you're not gonna like the position <laughs> that you're in when we're eating from this table you're not gonna like that position that's the truth see god didn't guarantee you a position to be standing up while you're in our presence let me make this absolutely listen listen <laughs> listen let me make this clear so you can get an idea it says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over so hold on most high when a cup is running over <laughs> listen really the enemy gonna be looking up from the ground and when that cup run over, the enemy's not going to be able to touch the blessings that's on the table. They're going to have to get what's left on the ground. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? And really, you're not going to have those blessings as well because you're a footstool. So you're going to be standing there and you're going to be you're going to be laying down in your position. So you can't have those either. Put down. You can't have that either. Put that down there right now. <laughs> Put that down there right now. <laughs> Jen said uh, floor spice <laughs> Put that down there Put down you can't have that either Put that down there right now You can't even have What fell on the floor Because you're our footstool Yeah Listen I'm going to make this clear y'all I'm going to make this absolutely clear <clears throat> I want y'all to know this they are going to learn a huge lesson. See, what people don't realize is that <coughs> to people, you're a lesson and a blessing. Can I get can I get an amen? A lot of people reject you. So they reject the lesson and blessing. And I want you to understand. Because they reject who you are they're rejecting the most high because the most high sent you on a purpose and on a mission regardless if they want to accept you or not the purpose of this message is to tell you to remain confident and remain yourself and don't ever lower your talent and your gift and don't give the devil room and never take a back seat for a devil don't lower your anointing to make these enemies feel comfortable remain yourself remain firm and steadfast the truth is they're insecure the truth is they want to be you the truth is they can't beat you because you got the most high God on your team. The truth is, you steal the show wherever you go. And I want you to always remember, you do it without trying. The same way Christ walked the earth. He stole the show from those jealous Pharisees. You do the same thing. 
and I want you to, to continue to walk with God and walk righteous and be meek and humble and allow your enemies arrogancy to destroy them because they will be your footstool in due time yes yes thank you so much in due time y'all in due time let them hate you let them judge you let them talk about you and listen let me make this clear they're gonna crack jokes on you always remember it's jealousy and jokes all right check these enemies at the gate all right i'm gonna make this clear i'm gonna say it again it's jealousy and jokes okay so continue to stay strong stay positive i'm proud of you keep chasing your dreams don't let nobody destroy your confidence keep your strength keep your faith in the most high you will make it to the next level and understand this when God take you higher, he going to take your enemies down low. And all of them, all of them will be watching you from a distance. Because they would no longer have access to you. Their opinion don't matter. Put that down there right now. Put that down there right now. Put down my enemy's opinion don't matter. Put that down there, y'all. See, because when God take you out of the storm. And when God elevates you and take you higher, people are going to want to give their opinion about you. Yeah. They're going to want to give critique and advice. Devil, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you anything about where I'm going. The only opinion that matters is God's. Let me get an amen. 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 That's how you got to give it to these devils. That's how you got to give it to them, y'all. That's how you got to give You got to tell them what it is and how it's going to be. The only opinion that matters is God. That's it. These devils got the nerve. When God pulled you out the storm, this is truth. Y'all know, listen, somebody is a witness to this. When God pulled you out the storm, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, everybody want to give their opinion. Well, why didn't you give me advice when I was going through the battle? Why didn't you give me good advice or your opinion when I was going through the, when I was going through the battle? It's interesting that you all of a sudden got something to say and how I should do something. Can I get an amen? Come on now. No, no, no. What it is is you want to take credit. For what God has done over my life. So let me get an amen. So let me get an amen. You said exactly. There you go. Don't let these devils take credit. For what God's done over your life. There's a lot of wicked enemies. That want to take credit. For your anointing. And take credit. For your progress and success. I will. Let me make this clear. I will never. Let you devils. Take credit. For my intelligence and for what God has done for me. Never. Never. The only person that get credit is the most high. Put down all praises to the most high. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. That's who I give credit to. Is the most high God. Yeah. Yeah. You said, wow, uh, what a speech. Phenomenal. You hit the nail on the head truth and wisdom there you go there you go they want to take credit for the amazing works on what god has done over your life devil you're not taking credit you wasn't there for me in the storm you didn't throw nothing in there to pull me out the storm so why would i allow you to take credit for the glory of the most high see that's arrogant that's somebody who want to play god and that's your enemies. And with that said, you steal the show and you're a blessing everywhere you walk. And I'm proud of you. Keep walking with strength and confidence and watch the Most High do some amazing works over your life. Let me get an amen, y'all. Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. All praises to the Most High. 
All praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. Yes. Glory to God, man. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. That's my message for tonight. Y'all continue to stay strong out there. And listen. This is what I know. And this is the truth. There are people out there that's going to hate you and judge you. And listen, the only time they're going to accept you is if you fall down and bow to their feet. Never bow down to these enemies out here. Give thanks and praises to the Most High because He is the one that's blessing you, not these enemies out here. I don't care what opportunity they got. Walk away. Oh my goodness gracious, that's powerful. That's powerful. Walk away because God got something bigger for you and he got a door of blessings over your life. Don't let nobody control or manipulate your mind and don't let nobody lower your value. Don't let nobody lower your self-worth and value. Don't let nobody do that to you. Don't let them take advantage of you in any kind of way. Know your worth and know that God put you in position. And if they don't want to pay you your worth, walk away. Let God open up a door for you. And I can guarantee you that the Most High will give you a door of blessings. And he'll give you a door where people respect you. Put down respect, y'all. Come on now. I'm going to say that again. He's going to give you a door where people val value you and respect you. See? Integrity is key. A lot of people hate you because you have integrity and you refuse to go, against, to go against your morals and values. So they're going to try to assassinate your character and disrespect you. But God got a door that, you, <clears throat> that you're going to walk in where people are going to respect you and people are going to allow you to be free. Oh, that's powerful. That's what it's all about, devil. That's what it's all about. You don't want my chosen vessels to be free. That's what it's all about. Oh! That's what it's all about. You want to control everything about their life. God wants you to be free. The devil wants you to be stuck in bondage. See? The most high is about you using your gifts freely. The Bible says your gift will make room for you. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? The most high. Listen, let me tell you why they're jealous of you. I'm going to give this to you before I go. This is, this is big. People are angry with you. Because you refuse to be fake just like them. They got to fake it until they make it. And my chosen brothers and chosen sisters, you was real from the gate. You don't got to fake nothing. You just show up as yourself. Let me get an amen if you show up as yourself. Listen. They're fake. Oh, this is powerful. And they're phonies. They're on Instagram faking it. They're on Facebook faking it. My chosen sisters, you show up as your natural self, how God created you, and you get more attention than these wicked enemies out here. My chosen brothers, you get more respect and attention as well than these wicked men out here. That's doing all these wicked things because something about the most high's children is that we are authentic. Put that down there in the chat. Put down I'm authentic.
Put that down on right now. Come on, man. This is powerful. This is uplifting your spirit. This is telling you the truth. Your brother is telling you the truth. It's because you're authentic. It's because you're creative. You're a creator because you get the power from the creator. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, that's powerful. Wow. Wow, that's powerful. Oh, that's real. You are a creator because you get your strength from the creator. Oh my God, watch this. They are destroyers because they get their power from Satan, which is the destroyer. Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So when that spirit of jealousy hits their mind, hits their heart, they put it out on you. They project that jealousy on you let me get an amen let me get an amen if they do that to you if they project so much jealousy on you because they want to destroy not build see this is the truth about society this is what i know this is a fact people are poison in their mind on how they think the difference between the mindset of the righteous and the wicked which is fake friends fake family members they don't know how to lift people up see they don't understand that by lifting you up it lifts them up because Galatians 6 7 says whatever a man sow if he shall reap so if you lift me up somebody in this world will come and lift you up oh my god that's powerful that's powerful that's powerful that's powerful that's powerful see the only thing they can give out is insults by tearing you down and assassinating your character and going at your image but one thing that they don't understand for all you devils here that's on the chat i don't care if you talk about my image you can say what you want because let me tell you something I know you got your favorite. Oh, this is powerful. Watch this. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You said Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior to the enemies who mock your word. Brother, I say I rebuke their evil in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your words. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you for pouring in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, 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 Marcus uh, Lovers. Thank you so much for pouring in the ministry. Listen, the reason why they do this to me. Is because they got their favorite and here's the truth i don't care who your favorite is it's in me and it's not, listen listen it's in me and it's not on me i don't care who your favorite is what makes them so hurt my brother marcus is that they look and see a man who they thought was a nobody oh my god they do the same thing to you y'all Listen, 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 this is powerful. Oh my God, this is powerful. Hey, Star, this is powerful. Listen, watch this. But what happens when God trick the enemy and confuse them? And one, and listen, a lot of times they fall asleep on us. Put down this, um, put down the, the sleeping emojis. Put that down there real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Put that down there, y'all. Put down the sleeping emojis. There's a lot of them that sleep. Yeah, I'm going to show you what they do. There we go. Watch this. This is what they do. And this is for you as well. Because they do this to you as well. They fall asleep on somebody like me and you. Yeah. 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 See, they'll look at us. They'll judge us. They'll say, this person ain't making it nowhere. And once they fall asleep, the most high got a way of waking them back up. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> Can I get an amen? Listen. <laughs> yeah, so I was never their favorite. I wasn't the one that was supposed to make it out. So a lot of these people that y'all are seeing right now is people who doubted me when I was in the beginning stage of this ministry. 
Can I get an amen? I want to make this clear. Some of these demons and devils that y'all see are doubters and people back from my old hometown who counted me out. I want you to really take a look at these enemies because they're going to do the same thing to you. Now, let me make this clear. They slept on me. But understand this. You got comfortable. You got a blanket. You got a whole bunch of pillows. And you slept on me because you underestimated what was inside of me. See, the problem is you didn't know that God hid me in plain sight. Oh my goodness gracious. Put down hidden in plain sight. Put that down there, y'all. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness gracious. The most high hid me and my chosen family in plain sight. The reason why you couldn't identify my gifts is because the most high knew that if you had me in the beginning stage of my ministry, you might have been able to affect what I was doing. But look at me now, baby. Oh my God, that's powerful. Oh my God, that's powerful. See, the most high hid me so you couldn't destroy what me and God was building. Can I get an amen? Can I get a listen and take this too for your life, y'all. I want y'all to listen to what's going on here. The enemies that's on here right now are salty because God delivered me and raised my ministry far above them. The people who they wanted to win is not winning like Crystal Life Coach. Understand this. I didn't do this to win. I did this for God. Oh my God, let me get an amen. <laughs> let me get an amen. See, you do it for selfish gain. I do it for God. That's the difference. So I know you sat back in the beginning and saw me and said, this guy wasn't going anywhere. I know, I know you did. I know that's what you did. <sighs> but God got a way of <laughs> waking you up. Put down in the comment section below, wake up devil, put that down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God is good. God is good. Wake up. <laughs> Put that down there. Put down, wake up. Come on, y'all. Wow. You got to wake up now. I know. I know. The last time you see me, I was at 1,500 subscribers. I know. You looked at me. You said, that guy ain't going nowhere. Then God elevated me to 10,000. That guy ain't going nowhere. Now God got us over 21,000. Glory be to God, baby. I am going somewhere. Wake up. Wake up. Smell the coffee. Accept it. I don't care how much enemies you bring towards me. You can come every single day, however you come. Understand that you're going to wake up. Wake up and smell the coffee. All right? Because as long as God is anointing my life and appointing me, devil, you can't do nothing. The reason you're really mad, let me tell you this, uh, Marcus, look, watch this. The reason the enemy is really mad is because they can't get the sleep that they used to. Oh my God, this is powerful. Watch this, y'all. The reason y'all enemies are mad at y'all is because they can't get rest like they used to. Oh my God, let me get an amen right now. See, 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 the, the, the stage of where they were getting rest was when they were seeing you lose. Oh my God, the, the, the stage of where they were getting rest is when they counted you out and doubted you. See, see, they can't get sleep right now because they seen you elevate. That's the truth. Yeah. See, enemies don't come for me. I can break you down. It's easy to me. This is easy money. Oh my goodness gracious, put down this easy. Put that down there right now. Easy buckets. You're easy. And I mean that with all disrespect. Because I refuse to let you clowns try to destroy me or my name or my ministry because you're jealousy. You enemies got a lot of nerve to try to roll up and through here like you running something. You don't run nothing. The only thing that you do is run your mouth. Let me get an amen. <laughs> Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. You don't run nothing in here. The only thing you do is run your mouth. And that's all y'all do is run your mouth 
about who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. That's all you do is sit back and critique people and give your opinion about who's going to make it. Devils, you are not in control of anything. You're not in control of my chosen family's destiny. It's what God says. Put down in the comment section below, God has the final say. Put that down there right now. See, I got to break these enemies down because they got it twisted, y'all. They think that they pull the strings. No, God has the final say, not you. I know you want to have the final say. You don't have the final say. God has the final say. All right? Understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And with that said, chosen family, when we're in this chat, I had to expose to you that the people that's hating on me right now, that's saying these wicked comments and doing all these wicked things, it's people who I defeated. Oh my God, listen, it's people who God defeated. So understand, it's going to be more of these devils. They're going to come from the left and they're going to come from the right. But one thing I know is that God has prepared me for the fight. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on now, let me get an amen. Let me get an amen. I said they're going to come from the left and they're going to come from the right. But you better understand that God has prepared me for the fight. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm going to say that again. They're going to come from the left and they're going to come from the right. But y'all better understand that God has prepared me for the fight. Oh, my goodness gracious. Listen to me right now. I know when you doubted me, you never would believe that Christian Life Coach will come up and grow just like a tree. Oh, my God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. I know you never thought inside of your mind. But I've been telling you from the beginning in due time. Oh, my God. That's powerful. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I know you looked at me with all of the doubt. Now you're looking like a sad puppy left out. I'm going to make this absolutely clear. This is my year. Every single devil out there better be in fear. Oh my God, that's real. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear me, hear me. Hear what I say. Understand that Chris, the life coach, don't play. When it comes to the bars, just know that I'm a star. I don't care about your wicked jealous comments talking about how i give my messages in the car oh my god watch this watch this watch this listen listen i'm gonna keep going and you can't stop me i know that there's a lot of jealous enemies out there that want to copy copy this message listen to me clear this is crystal life coach i'm going in this year let me get an amen let me get an amen put down we going in put that down there right now put that down there right now put that down there right now you said bars <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the most high is real wow we going in this year we going in this year baby we going in oh my god listen do not knock on my door because i will answer come on now wow man we going in put down it's a wrap it's a wrap y'all it's a wrap <laughs> literally it's a wrap <laughs> see listen y'all when i give y'all these messages the enemy do not want y'all to <laughs> listen the enemy the enemy don't want y'all to make it out that's the truth y'all for real the enemy don't want y'all to make it out all right, listen, that's a freestyle. I just, listen, I told him, don't play with me, man. You said respect. Respect to you, too. Thank you so much. When I give these messages, y'all, I'm serious. Oh, thank you for, uh, for subscribing. I appreciate you. Listen, when I give these messages, my chosen sisters and chosen brothers, I'm doing it out of love because I had to go up against people like this. All right? I won't speak up on things like that if I didn't go up against these uh, wicked enemies out here. All right? So just know that I'm on here. When I get on here and talk about it, I'm trying to prepare you mentally because i don't want you to question your talent and question your confidence okay so with that said it's a wrap we done destroyed this enemy glory be to god all praises to the most high y'all stay strong out there <laughs> and marlon said put some respect on my name <laughs> glory be to god listen 
may the most high continue to bless all of his children that's on his channel that's on his chat i appreciate all of your love and support sending peace love and blessings to all the chosen kingdom members thank <clears throat> thank you so much for all your love and support and um listen man we got to continue to keep doing god's will and stay righteous and fighting a good fight that's what it's all about that's what it's all about y'all stay blessed y'all stay blessed out there <laughs> y'all stay blessed thank you so much thank you so much chosen family y'all stay blessed all praises to the most high y'all stay blessed out there see y'all soon thank you so much peace chosen family you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome thank you so much